Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna add another video to my 50 flies for $25 series. Again, it's gonna be two more multi-species patterns. They're gonna be really easy to tie, budget-friendly, and really adaptable to the waters that you fish. The goal with this is to combine this video with my previous video, 50 flies for $25. It's gonna be using the same hook, same price range, same methodology and the tying process and making it really simple. And if you combine both of these videos, you're gonna have a box of four patterns that are really easy to tie, really fun to fish, and really budget friendly. I hope to add more in the future, but for now, I wanted to present these two new flies into the video series. So first I'm gonna go over the flies themselves. We're gonna go over the materials and then I'm gonna show you a short video of how to tie these flies. I'll also link some videos in the description of some ones that I found that are a little bit more descriptive, uh, but a couple of these patterns are, are really, really popular. So I really don't think you'll have a hard time finding more information about these patterns. So without further ado, I'm gonna go over the first pattern. So the first one is the Brim Killer. It's a fairly popular fly. I first learned about it on Panfish on the Fly. I've had really good success with it on crappie and panfish, and a couple of bass have picked it up before. Um, but what I think entices them so much is the rubber legs on it. It seems that the rubber legs are probably the, the most important thing on this fly. Just the action on it when you're stripping and stopping it on the retrieve, it causes the rubber legs to flutter and really entices panfish and, and crappie. You can tie it in a multiple variety of colors. I've tied them in as drab as brown and as colorful as chartreuse. Mainly I stick with olive um, to match the watershed that I normally fish, but it is really adaptable. You can go really bright on the colors or you can go more dull or darker, just depending on your watershed. It's really easy to tie. It, this is the pattern that has the most materials on the list, but Really, you could fish this fly only if you really wanted to. Probably one of my favorite patterns of these of these video series is the Brim Killer uh, with the Carpet Bomb or the Carp Fly. And the first video also being a favorite of mine. Really adaptable, you can catch a lot of different species with this fly and it's really fun to fish. It, you can add weight to this fly and it really changes the way you can fish it. It can fish it deeper or I usually fish it weightless, which it just sits right under the film and catches fish as soon as it hits the water almost. But I would add weight depending on what kind of water that you're fishing. If you're fishing deeper lakes or ponds, I would definitely add weight to this fly. So the second pattern is the pine squirrel leech. It's more of a trout pattern, but I've had success with that on panfish as well. You can get pretty fancy with it. You can add a bead head to the fly to make it sink faster or add some flash onto it. But for the purposes of this video and the budget constraints, I'm just gonna tie it as a one material fly. So it's probably the most simple fly of this video series. You really just need pine squirrel to tie this fly. I use, you can tie it in a multiple variety of ways. Just from searching online, there's people that literally just tie it onto the shank of the hook and call it a day. Uh, but I like to tie it on the hook and then palmer it to the eye of the hook. I think it gives it a more bug ear. Uh, look to the fly and I just overall like the way it looks but you can tie it in however you would like to so that's really it for the two patterns without further ado I'm going to go over the materials and the budget for the materials themselves and how I came out to my total so the first thing you're going to need on this list is rubber legs I priced that out online you can use whatever bender you want to use but for the most part I used Avid Max for the purposes of this video. Uh, so for rubber legs, I priced out to $3.25. I usually stick with uh, white, but you can tie it, and again, in a variety of colors. So the next material is squirrel zonkers, the most important material on the list because you need them to tie both of the flies. You can tie it in a variety of colors. You can use natural or olive or black. I normally just stick with natural pine and olive because I like to use the same strip of pine squirrel leech to tie the brim killers. Um, you can really tie it in any kind of variety of colors that you would like, but 
uh, priced out squirrel zonkers here at $5.42. Next material you're going to need is chenille. So this one also comes in a variety of colors and patterns. You can use the very varianted chenille or you can go chartreuse or olive. It's a really adaptable material and really popular. Um, I priced here a pack of chenille at $3.25. The next material, and this is what makes this really makes this series, to be honest, is the hooks. So I've got here the U-Series hook. It's the same equivalent of the TMCO 200R hook, but what's nice about this is that it comes 50 for $7.60. So you're getting 50 hooks for $7.60, opposed to the TMCO series where you're getting 25 hooks for around the same price. And again, between these two videos, it's using the same hook. So you have four patterns that you can use and shop and exchange for whichever you would like to tie. So that's really what makes this series. I've put the TMCO 200R and the U-Series hook together and I've really noticed no difference in it. Uh, the TMCO 200R is more gold color while the U-Series is a little bit more silver. That's really the only difference that I've noticed. They both fish the same, they hook up the same, I have not lost a fish on the U-Series hooks. I don't see any main difference. I'm not losing more fish because I'm using the U-Series hooks. It's a really nice adaptable hook. And again, you're getting 50 of them for $7.60. So the next material is thread. I usually use UTC 70 denier on both of these flies. I priced out thread at $2.09 here. Again, I would match the color of the thread to both the pine squirrel color that you're using and the chenille that you're using. So, uh, the next material is wire. Now this is optional, but I would highly recommend it because it makes the brim killer and the pine squirrel leech a lot more adaptable to the water such as you're fishing. And I priced out uh, lead wire here at $4.58. That brings us to a grand total of $26.19 again. Between both of these video series, if you combine them, you've got around $50 and you've got 100 flies that you can tie. And you really don't need to think too hard about what you're gonna be tying, what you're gonna be using these to fish for. All this is outlined in the videos. And if you really just watch these two videos, you've got a good starter fly box to go fish for warm water species. And we've even got a trout pattern in this, in this video, so. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I broke it down well enough for you guys. I'm really hoping to add more videos to the series because I feel it's something that's really necessary for people that are both beginning and then people that are overwhelmed by just getting into fly tying and figuring out what exactly they want to tie and have budget constraints that they need to adapt to. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to include some short clips of how I tie these flies. They're going to be really fast, but Again, I'll link in the video description below some videos that I found that are more descriptive if you need some additional instruction for how to tie both of these flies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.